in the blue corner, Adam Davis. All right, and now we have Adam Davis making his walk to the cage. The Death Panda, as he's called at his training gym. Tra originally from Ipswich, fighting in the Ipswich at Kadoo Martial Arts under Shannon Landy and Jackson Weir White. I really love the story for this fight, James. At the end of the day, this is a promoter's dream. Both gentlemen decided, hey, let's have a bucket list fight. So it's a call out, it's a friendly call out between, between people involved in fight shows. One with a huge grappling experience, one with a striking experience, and we get to see it take place in the cage. So Adam, the Death Panda Davis, this is his first fight. He has a brown belt in BJJ. He's had a bit of a play and dabbled with striking arts over the years, but as he says, nothing serious. I'll also like the fact that they put this fight at 100 kilos to force them both to lose a bit of weight and get in there in prime condition. The big fella making his walk in. And in the red corner, Kevin Blundell. And now we have Kevin Blundell. Where are our Kevin fans at? On the other side of the stream, we have the striker. Still with a decent pedigree in terms of grappling with the blue belt. But a blue belt up against a brown belt in the cage. We're obviously expecting Adam to have the uh, advantage in the grappling piece. But what Kevin lacks in the grappling, he extremely ignites in the way of striking ability. Huge, huge yearly background um, in fighting for years. Karate, different uh, background styles, a lot of Muay Thai as well. So I'm expecting really, really good quality striking out of there. What are, you, what, are you, what are you excited for on this one, James? We've got an absolute plethora of experience in the ring tonight for two people making their debut, and this one is personal. Let's not take away from the fact that both these men know each other, it's both on their bucket list, and both of them are ready to bang. Definitely, definitely. And, uh, you know, obviously uh, we've got Kevin coming from the uh, Enzo Karate background as well. He's fighting all the way out of Tarasha Kazua Kai. Enzo Karate and also Dabin Jiu Jitsu at Ipswich. Technique on show for days. Both of these men predict to fin finish. We've got Adam, what the Death Panda, fantastic Kevin. nickname, saying that he's looking to finish it in the second or the third. We haven't even seen a fight in the second or the third so far, Craig. That'll be new ground for us. It certainly will. And both these boys have done the work. They said they've lost about 15 kilos each. He and uh, it actually shows. He Mate, Go. this is our first heavyweight scrap. I love the heavyweights. Brought to you Always by Grow Strong point. Chiropractic, Grow Strong MMA, Ian's Mowing Landscaping and Handyman Service, and Castle Quinn Construction Services. All right, this is fight number four. And in the blue corner, weighing 98.9 kilograms, fighting out of Kadoo Martial Arts, Adam the Death Panda. Davis! And in the red corner, weighing in at 100.2 kilograms, fighting out of Atarashi Kazoku Kai, Kevin Blundell! Here we go, folks, fight number four. Let the leather play. Once again, James, this is a bucket list fight. Looking forward to this one. Once again, C-class rules, no striking to a grounded opponent in the head as well. I'm expecting a lot of respect from these boys. They've, they've come across each other many, many times, but uh, as soon as that uh, clap goes, here we are. Here we go, you can already feel the energy in the ring. Touch that front hand. Beautiful. Vicious low kick. Touch that front hand on the ceiling. Beautiful inside. Yes. Where's the feint? That's what I like, though. I like it. There's a, there's a battle of positions here, southpaw versus orthodox. They both exchange low kicks, both men looking very, very composed. Adam's putting a lot of power into his kick so far. Don't rush, don't rush. Looking in great physical Touch condition. Right now, both gentlemen are just sorting each other out. This is getting that data read to unload that power. How good is Death Panda for a fight name? 
<laughs> it certainly is, mate. He's, he's in the running for my top fight name pick of the night. We've got the orthodox of the Southport battle here. Now, always creates a very, very unusual. Some of these guys may have never trained with the opposite fighter. Yeah, orthodox, um, orthodox did you the normal reads, but your Southport just gives different reads and different angles. Oh, sharp, sharp right hand up the middle. And what you'll, and what you'll see here that... Uh, so Adam's doing a really good job just linking those one, two, oh, three. Oh, oh, couple of shots. He looks like he's wrapped them. He's thrown it all out there, the death panda. Very composed. Look at the composure. That jab is finding a home, and it just sets up that right hand coming through from Adam. Kevin's right seeing everything. Kevin's doing a great job circling off, though, circling away from the power. But right now, Adam's just uh, controlling that center base. Lots of fainting, taking his head off the center line. Both gentlemen have taken this one very, very seriously. Boom, another sharp right hand there from the Death Panda. Davis got a really good one in there. But right now, Kevin's just kind of settling in. Oh, big shot downstairs, right in the bread basket. Oh, here we come, fight! Big Blundell. combo. And Blundell's out of the high guard. These boys have thrown the geese out the window. No grappling so far by these two gladiators. I do kind of, yeah, it's... Kevin's throwing a bit of stuff here, but Adam's just kind of at the distance in times of pace. Body head, body eye, a vicious kick straight up the middle. Oh, nice Superman punch. Full family meal combo there from the Death Panda. Kevin happily eats it. Right now. Davis has thrown a lot in there. He's got mouth open, breathing hard. There's a lot of work as soon as you... Oh! I'm loving when he's throwing... When Davis is throwing a kick, he's automatically following up with a, with the punch as well. Sometimes in the amateurs you see when they throw a kick, they leave the kick and they don't throw anything out and leave themselves open. So right now, good work. A lot of licks for both men. He goes to the body and up high again. A big high kick to finish the round. Fantastic stuff. Expect the crowd to go crazy. These are two two local boys. Yeah, a karma fight there. It looks like they've both come out with a bit more of a calculated game plan. The first few fights, we were really seeing it ramp up very quickly, high intensity. You can see the exposure all day here, the experience. These guys are both very, very storied in their careers so far, even though it is their MMA debut. And hungry to throw fist by the looks of it too, with a little bit of kick action in there. Yeah, really, really good at work. And I've, I'm, I'm liking a lot of the stuff we're seeing from Adam Davis here, but Blundell's not going away as well. So obviously it's re really hard to be uh, offensive when you're walking backwards, but I do think he was sitting back and looking at a couple of reads that Adam was uh, throwing. So I'm expecting him to come out a bit more guns blazing. We might even see a bit of grappling in the second round. Here we go for round two. Death Panda, Kevin Blundell. Let's go, boys. The boys touch gloves. They know they're going back to war, and here we go. Kevin Moore on the front foot this time. Exploring the center of the octagon. Both men not willing to back down at all. Big son, straight down the middle. Kevin felt it, but he's straight back. Yeah, Kevin throwing three jabs in a row. Multiple knees at the moment. The boys are clinching. Oh, he's going to the ground for the first time. Launches into side control and throwing some short punches there. Yeah, right now Davis is uh, Davis's coach is telling him to go into knee ride just to make that pressure a bit harder. He's grabbing wrist control from the top here, looking to go on the knee ride. A lot of weight there. That's 100 kilos bearing down on your rib cage. Certainly is. And once again, there's no strikes to the head as well because this is a C-class fight. Turns and takes mount. He's got a nice side mount. Kevin again looking to grab wrist control. He's got his head, um, arm there, elbow right in the face. This is uncomfortable stuff. And what Kevin has now is a quarter guard. That's that's what's stopping um, Davis from actually getting both knees on the ground. Huge liver shots there. We're starting to see some of the death in Death Panda coming out, but Kevin isn't giving up. It's not done yet. Uh, Kevin's showing different. his experience here. He looks very, very composed. He's breathing easily. It looks Just like looking Dave, for that. Yeah, it looks like Davis might be set, setting up to either an arm bar here, or if not, looking for a uh, head and arm triangle. Absolutely. Really working the ribs there, Death Panda. But Kevin is a warrior. 
He's keeping his arms up tight. This is great defense from Kevin. Yep, so right, right yeah. now he's gift wrapped. He's gift wrapped. And once again, this is, it makes it really hard not being able to throw strikes. Really, really Fight tough. Tight, yeah, great ground and pound here from Death Panda. Death Panda has really got control of him. He's eating him like a piece of bamboo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Mate, these guys are banging harder than my favourite website. This is fantastic stuff. <laughs> right, so right now here, yeah, Kevin's just doing everything he can do to stay in the, in the game um, in doing so. And Davis is really making him pay for being in this position here. So I really yeah, like the fact that Davis is uh, getting his composure and oh, breathing. Mate. Some short hammer fist for the ribs there. Now that is not comfortable, I tell you what. Toes to full mount. Got his hand crushing his mouth there, restricting the breathing, working the body. No head shots, remember, guys. That's why he's primarily working the ribs. But trust me, that doesn't feel better either. And Kevin's moving side to side. Oh! Look like he's sitting up for an armbar here. He's always got one leg over, but he's keeping his weight very heavy on top. That's important so that his opponent just can't go out the bottom or go out the side there. And look, no headshots in c -class. He's making the most of those body shots. Yeah, so right now we have the 10-second uh, the clapper. Wow, another Down. fantastic round, boys. What do you see from Kevin here needing to go? What's happening in this next round from you, Craig? Well, right now, Kevin's doing what he said he wanted to do. So he said he wanted to make the fight last as long as he could, as long as it was safe. He wants to really soak up this experience of being in the cage. And we kind of saw that then. Like, there was a couple of opportunities where, you know, he could have put his brown belt uh, pedigree of a um, for jiu-jitsu into play then. But he really just wanted to sit back and strike. I do like the fact that uh, Davis did... Uh, posture up and get some good quality breaths in there before he continued and switched over. But from that, I really, really like I like the fact of the staying power of Blundell as well. So that's a very, very tough position to be under the bottom. And uh, he was able to switch his hips a couple of times, but at this stage, uh, really, really hard from a blue belt skill set trying to get that black, uh, brown belt off you. Absolutely, absolutely. But look at Kevin. He looks so composed. It looks like he's coming out for the first round here. I'm expecting some fantastic stuff for both fighters in this third round. Let's go, boys. And it's firing up. Death Panda's ready. Kevin's ready. Round three is upon us. What do you think the corners said to Kevin in the break there? Just more that he wants to see more action from him um, and some of the striking piece. He's kind of sitting back waiting for Davis to put through, but in doing so, then you're always defending. Kevin Stark in the middle here. Eats a couple leg kicks down low, but he's not going anywhere. Third low kick. Fires back with one of his own. Both boys going at it. Little fainting here from both opponents, but neither is looking to back down. Kevin moves forward with three right hands. He switched down. Oh, Superman punch! Has him on the ropes. He's working him with uppercuts. Both of uppercuts. Kevin shelling up, but he's going nowhere. He's looking at these fighters. He's seeing everything at the moment. Yeah. Oh, this is a 10 punch combo here. Really throwing for Leather. But Kevin's right there, looking to exchange with shots of his own. Yeah, right now Davis is kind of uh, dictating the pace of the fight and where it's going. Blundell is showing some huge heart here. Absolutely, another huge leg kick and a punch, but he just eats it. Oh, another huge right hand goes through and Kevin's on him. Oh, that's it, that's it, everybody. Oh, that's right. The Death Panda, he's flipping. Yeah, he's he huge out the on the Panda. And what about Kevin? What about Kevin? He's putting it up there. He's come out. It's been a big, tough two rounds. And he stares him right in the face. Doesn't go anywhere. Gives it everything he's got. Unbelievable the heart of Kevin Brundle. This man's in there for his bucket last fight. And he's seen it all. The action. And I love that. The respect oh, at the end. Once again, this was a, uh, a friendly challenge match between the two boys. Unreal, boys. That's exactly what we want to see. You couldn't ask more for your bucket fight. That's and Adam funny. did mention that this may be his only fight, but from what we've seen of him tonight, I'd be, I can't wait to see him back in the cage again. I think the bug might have bitten, mate. He, I, I, I can see him back in the cage again. <laughs> again, just an amazing show of class, heart, and technical skill from both these Warriors. Absolutely, and a, a, a good showing of different skill sets. Uh, you can see that Adam did a lot of work on uh, striking leading into this camp. Absolutely, he threw everything but the kitchen sink at him tonight. He's got his young fire in there. 
playing up to the crowd. I really like the way that um, Davis also played up to the crowd at the start of the third as well. Absolutely, absolutely. What we're looking for is energy. Davis looked as, a, as composed as a fighter in his 60th fight. Kevin himself looked as composed as a fighter that's been doing it since day one. And that just goes to show the experience and technique that gentlemen have learned over the air. Multitude of... Uh, one minute and nine seconds in round three by TKO referee stoppage from Canoe Martial Arts in the blue corner, Adam the Death Panda Davis. Adam, congratulations, my friend. Before we get into the fight, I have to ask you, how did you get the fight name Death Panda? I absolutely love it. Well, my jiu-jitsu is slow and so are pandas, so I'm pretty lazy, so that's where I got it from. We saw the death part of the panda, that's for sure. Talk us through that fight. It, it was the first one we've seen tonight, making it into three rounds. A, a well-fought fight. Talk us through it. Yeah, sorry, team. I probably should have done it the first one, but oh, what do you do? Uh, the plan was just to keep distance, keep away from his kicks and just impose force, you know, like, give him no space, give him no room, punch and get the takedown when I could, which I did, and I capitalised and I'm in the second round and third round was the last round, so let's finish it on the third one, am I right? Beautiful, well, great fight, and we'll let you get some words in. Who do you want to thank? What do you want to add in? Uh, first, I'd like to thank my coaches, obviously, my son, and everyone who came out and is watching. Thank you so much for your support. Appreciate you, Death Panda. Congrats, mate.